Alright, here we are on the Ducati X Diavel. Our first test ride of the day. Cool thing about the bike, it has a, well, they have forward controls and they're adjustable. There's three different settings front to rear to, to make them reach. I'm on one that's adjusted right in the middle of the two. I wasn't able to nab one of the one of the furthest back ones for my short legs, but this will be okay. Um, totally flat footed on this bike. So I mean a fantastic option. It's gonna feel different riding this with the forward controls because it's it feels more like a naked bike, and a naked sport hooligan bike than a cruiser. I've ridden the standard Diavel with the mid controls and I really enjoyed it. We'll see how this one goes. All set? Yep. Okay. It is ride by wire, so there's no throttle cable. Everything's done electronically. It does have the brimble brakes up front. Let's see how this goes. Love group riding. Get the stagger right. So they have a setup in touring mode. There's three different modes. There's urban, touring, and sport. They said the urban's gonna be the the best one for us. I mean, uh, touring's gonna be the best one for this ride. It's also the, <laughs> the tamest, and I think that's really why they have us doing it. Nice LED looking uh, blinkers going on. So there's also several different, I think he said five different handlebar combinations for the bike as well. So much for not turning right in red. I thought we were going to turn right in red. So down, so down. The peak torque hits about 5,000 RPM. It feels nice. I mean, the bike's light. It's sub 500 pounds. Um, you sit in the bike a little bit. You don't so much feel like you're sitting on top of it. It uh, does go when you twist the throttle, even in touring mode. I know they said they don't want us playing with electronics, but I'm going to try to get into sport mode at the first opportunity here. So now I got in sport. I'm having a little trouble there because the throttle has to be closed for it to, to switch. Oh, there, that's a little bit more. That's, that, that's good. Alright, so... That's uh, a little bit more beastly. That's what I was expecting. You know, Ducati is really uh, trying to broaden their uh, their audience, and the whole concept behind the name X Diavel or Diavel is uh, that it's the crossroads of where touring meets sport bikes. And you know, with with Ducati's racing heritage, you know, they couldn't just make a heavy slow cruiser that's 
this bike not only will go get up and go but like I said it's very very light it has 40 degrees of uh, lean angle um, it sounds like it would be a challenge to ever drag a peg on this bike uh, especially you know with my my skill level uh, another thing I noticed is it feels nice and narrow um, which helps even more with uh, sea height and it has low sea height I know that I think it's 27 and a half inches somewhere around there but I'll have to look it up for sure so I'm already flat-footed but on top of that the bikes narrow so you're not it's not taking up your inseam by having to splay out your legs um, super comfortable I like, I'm interested in, in uh, researching what the other handlebar options are my my positions fairly neutral I'm, I'm slightly lean forward um, but it's not uh, not really not putting a weight on my hands or anything like that this bike also has launch control which I, I know we won't get to ride or utilize today oops but I saw a video online with launch control you basically activate the launch control you uh, pull in the pull in the clutch rev the bike to full throttle then just dump the clutch and uh, the bike's electronics are supposed to take care of the rest um, it required a little bit of uh, cojones to uh, do that I think Sport mode's the mode I, I don't think I'd ever put it in any other mode. Why mute the why mute the bike? Yeah. Bike feels super light though. It's comfortable. Seat hugs your ass. Or butt, sorry. My butt talks. Got shot in the butt talks. But yeah, super, super nice. I wonder how this bike would fill with bars that weren't quite as uh, wide. Really get on. I, I want mid controls. <laughs> I felt like it was lifting my feet up off the pegs. Uh, I'd rather have something a little bit more uh, athletic feeling as far as the position of the bike. I don't think forward controls adds anything to this. I think it actually is a subtractive addition. If that makes sense. I would really rather have mid controls. It does come alive around 5,000 RPM though. That's that's where it starts to say, oh, I'm here. <laughs> that's where it gives the Tim Allen grunt. So really the only thing that I have to compare this to is my 2003 Honda VTX 1800C. Uh, I've ridden it for a few months now, off and on, back and forth to work, community to work. It's a very cool cruiser as far as its power delivery and its comfort and handling. Um, just compare this bike to that bike is there's there's no comparison. This isn't a 
even with the four controls it's not a cruiser it's it's still a naked Hoogan bike at its heart I think and thus needs the mid controls so this is the X Diablo S um, the bike next to me is also an S you can tell by the polished pieces on their uh, L twin I guess it's L twin you don't like to say V twin because it's a 90 degree angle uh, twin cylinder motorcycle you can see the polished frames I'm not, I'm not sure what the other differences are that aren't just cosmetic between the two the standard X Diablo and X Diablo S those people help me good people flesh shields This thing grunts. That's throttle therapy at its best right there, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't have the motorcycle drones after the grunt and acceleration of X Diablo entering in freeway speeds, then motorcycling is not for you. One thing I haven't mentioned yet, and I don't know if you can see it or not when I look down, but the dash is very legible even in bright sunlight, so that's that's really nice. Definitely seems to like to be kept above 3,000 RPM, which is understandable. But 5,000 RPM is where the fun really starts. It goes a duke. That was fun. Fun, 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 fun.